Hi my cyber angels, this is Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your weekly reading and I'm doing the weekly readings from Capricorn, Aquarius and then Pisces and then I start a new video otherwise it's too long to load up and that will be um, Aries, Taurus, Gemini and the same with Cancer, Leo, Virgo and Libra, Scorpio and Sagittarius. I have computer issues and I have to bring away the computer so I'm sorry to have to do it this way but please look at the timestamps below the video okay then you can click on the timestamps and it will take you directly to the section of your zodiac sign please like and subscribe and please leave your comments below the video um, whether you like this setup and uh, I might just do it once again in the future but I know I haven't got any title descriptions to say what your reading is about I might try to put that in I don't know whether I can edit it that way I hope so but please bear with me I'm sorry for the inconvenience and take care have a safe week please subscribe and like and please hit the bell on all and also refresh your bell on all your favorite channels as the alpha rhythm might have thrown you out of that channels um, uh, as a member okay that is what I've just found out as well there's new things happening uh, on YouTube constantly and now Facebook is taking away the tags replacing it with face recognition go and have a look on Facebook as well because things are changing there that is what brought the issues to my attention and with my computer I'm sorry for the inconvenience take care love you and I won't be going live this week if I do get my computer back on Saturday uh, or before Saturday I will go live with you as soon as possible take care God bless and stay safe Hi Libra, this is your um, reading for the 24th till the 30th of August. I'm sorry I'm doing it this way, but look at your timestamps and then you will be able to find your um, reading. Okay, just click on the live stamps and then you'll be able to find your reading. So um, my computer has crashed. And I'm sorry about the inconvenience. Okay, so let's get beginning. This is your reading for the 24th to the 30th. And there's also an, uh, a video out there on the energy of Virgo because we've just come into Virgo. And you have the Four of Cups. Are you too much in your head or do you feel trapped? Do you feel depressed? What is the matter, Libra? Come out of your head so that you can see what is happening around you. There is an other cup besides these three cups on offer. So open your eyes. Don't sit moping about. Come into action and then and don't just look around uh, in front of you. Look around you what the possibilities are what is happening ar around you and uh, because this is the only card in the traditional tarot that reaches a hand from the divine uh, giving you something so the angels are noticing that you're not happy invite them in and ask them for what you want but be careful you will get what you want but it might not be um, turning out out as what you expect it to be you the clarification card is the Sun the Sun in Lenaman 31 of Lenaman and you've got the ace of diamonds the ace of Pentacles this could be a new uh, a new project this could be finding out that you're pregnant this could be a new job a new hobby a new home something that is tangible durable and for long term 
The sun all also means you are in the spotlight, you are being noticed. You are being noticed that you're bored or that something is worrying you and that you've closed yourself off to the outside world. Please come back into the sunshine and be the sunshine, be the beacon, because you are in the spotlight, you are being noticed. Okay, um, all the, 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 the star, the sun and the moon are spotlights and when you get that card that means that you are being noticed. So, and also it means illumination so you need to do some more research or get more information with regards to a question or a situation or an issue. It also means um, that it, the time is fertile at this moment, the sun. You might find out that you're pregnant or you might hear of a birth. This could be of a child or a new job. So if you don't want to get pregnant, take precautions. The sun also means moving home, traveling. You might be going on honeymoon or going on holiday, although there is COVID. Three in one is stability, so something that is beginning anew, or some if some, if a new beginning is beginning, then this will be here for a long time. As the pentacles, like I said, is for durability and long term. This could be a relationship, a job, a house, because a four is a proper foundation. Also productivity. The warmth of the rays will make the little seed grow that you have planted. So perhaps now it's coming to fruition for you. Wow. And you, also promotions going up to the next level in relationships, whether at work or in love. You've got the Princess of the Swords, which is the Page of Swords. And in Bollock is a feast so you might be getting an invitation to go to a celebration okay or you could be getting legal um, or judicial um, news this news will come through cyber uh, email text message or a telephone call wow and this could be official like I said and here we've got the tower now the tower is the six of swords so you are moving away the six of clubs is the six of swords you are moving away from troubled water so perhaps you're getting news that whatever judicial is that you've got victory that you um, that you were right the truth is coming out the, the tower in the Lenormand means, let me just finish off with the Six of Swords, the, the, the Six of Spades first. That means you're moving away from rough waters, rough times, to smoother wa uh, waters, quieter times. You might be crossing water if you are moving home. Okay, this is also the card, the, the Six of Swords for moving home and going on holiday. Okay, wow and the tower in the Lenormand means uh, ambition but don't forget the people that love you and that support you because when you reach the top it can be very lonely if you have no friends or family left maintain the balance okay maintain the balance you've got a six nineteen 19 and 9 and 1 is 10 so there's endings to difficulties uh, new beginnings you've got a new beginning here and here and the six of swords wow so and remember with the tower I always if I do the Lenormand and there is cartomancy I always keep it in the back of my mind the uh, tower of the tarot unexpected changes but I think you've been seeing this coming this big change again a 10 You've got the Ten of Cups celebrations with family and friends. Woo, 
that's what you've been waiting and pondering about most probably this whole judicial situation if you are in a judicial situation or this new beginning or moving home you might be worried about that and you might have been planning how to do that and you are tired but now it's here the beginning is here reunion with a family and friends there will be enough hands to help you move home or getting married also this could be the wedding reception because this is the marriage card wow and it says reward yes the reward will be abundance good you might be extending the family the ten of cups also means emotional happiness ultimate em emotional happiness perhaps you've been trying for this baby and you're finding out that you're getting um, uh, that you are pregnant ah great stuff you're expanding the family you've got the man the man is on your side if you are hooked up he will be joyous too because he's lying under the ten of cups and the ace of hearts he loves you so much okay if you're hooked up to a cancer Scorpio or a Pisces it's happy times and again 28 becomes a 10 and a 10 and a 10 boom it's two numbers the same okay endings new beginnings 10 and 10 is a double number with the angel number you've actually got three tens okay so have a look on internet what does 10 10 10 mean wow oh. and he's gorgeous he's got nothing to hide if you're not hooked up you could be meeting with a man that's honest caring loving passionate handsome and sexy Ooh, he's very emotional okay I don't know whether he's the king of uh, hearts because this is a new love or a new project that is going to happen that you're passionate about that you love to do could be a new hobby or a new job or you you have a specific vocation that you've studied for and your dream is coming true in this new beginning if you're not meeting the man you've got the magician boom there you are confirmation at the weekend new beginnings you've done it you've got the talents you've got the wisdom you've got the gift of the gab you can do the walk you can do the talk you're going for what you want happy times don't make sure that you are you don't have any illusions and don't be disillusioned okay keep it transparent be real to yourself and honest to yourself and others there could be somebody coming to give you a bunch of flowers or a little present this could be the king of hearts but it could also be the queen of um, spades as you've got the queen of spades and that could be a Libra but don't exclude Gemini or Aquarius again a nine an ending and where there is an ending new beginning that is gorgeous I absolutely adore this reading especially with the 10 10 10 Wow opportunity that's what the angels are saying and I think you're going to have more than one opportunity well as you've got let's have a look you've got Leo uh, you've got Aquarius the page of swords you've got the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Swords is Libra you've also got the magician that's Gemini or Aries okay I hope you have enjoyed this reading sorry that it is shorter this week um, 
but I want to get the romance readings out as well and because of the computer issues that's why I'm doing it this way so have a look for the timestamp in the description box and just click on that on the timestamp and it should take you straight to your video take care be blessed and stay safe Hi Scorpio, this is your reading for the 24th to the 30th. If you've skipped the intro, I'm doing it this way because I've got um, computer issues. I'm sorry to do it this way, but I'd rather have uh, it that you have your weekly reading than none at all. These readings are so powerful. Um, and when I make it, when any uh, creator is making readings, it is a lot of work and it takes a lot of power from the computer, and it does has its wear and tear. Okay, so I'm sorry about the inconvenience, but just look at the timestamps underneath uh, the uh, in the description box. Okay. Right, let's get started. The first card that you've got is the Nine of Cups, Abundance. So your wish or a goal is coming true. The Nine of Cups is the wish card. Number nine is an ending to a phase and a new beginning. Because where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. There could be a lady coming in for you. You've got number 29, which becomes an 11. The angels are giving you a doorway to go through, perhaps for a new love or just a special best friend for life. This is a lady that's got nothing to hide. She's as honest as daylight. And this is also the Ace of Clubs. Just look at that, the Ace of Clubs. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarium. This lady knows what she wants, and she's seeing it coming towards her. Her bare chest means that she's got nothing to hide. She's not scared of anything. She's precise, she's clear in knowing what she wants, and she goes for it. Okay. On Wednesday, Scorpio, you have the Three of Pentacles. You've got recognition for your hard work. This could also be recognition from somebody that admires you. The way you work, the way you do things, um, and the way you gather information. As this is also known as the Apprentice card. And usually your teachers or um, your school, your headmaster or whatever, your mentor um, gives you recognition because you have passed your exams. So there might be a promotion at hand for you or in the air for you. Ooh, or this lady might see you and give you recognition and that's why that could be a new love affair, a wish or relationship and that is your wish, that could be your wish, it's coming true but you're allowed to make an other wish because you've got the wishing well you might feel unbalanced though because you've got 41 which is a 5 but you also need more information with regards to a question or a situation as the bucket has to go down really deep to scoop up water so this is also the card for research find digging deep to get the answer uh, up to get clarity to a situation or a question on Friday we have the fall again a new beginning take that leap of faith this is a transformation period that you're in and you need to take the first step okay the clarification card that you have for Friday is the letter the letter being official news perhaps not only news but official news due to the seal on the envelope and you have 27 which means an ending so it could be a news dear John letter or it could be a letter saying 
this way this you might have passed your exams so you've finished your exam congratulations here's your diploma it could be as simple as that or it could be just saying a letter saying goodbye I don't know a de that's what I call a dear John letter or it could be a letter of love or an invitation please would you go out with me your wish coming true somebody sending you news and you've got the nine of sp seven of spades here which is the seven of swords that's now the light is burning I hadn't seen that the dear John le letter hmm <laughs> somebody's been kind enough to say goodbye to you they've sneaked off because that is somebody that is leaving or has left because and has taken five swords with him that's usually the picture that you see in the traditional tarot somebody sneaking off with five swords representing that they might have taken something from you um, and they've left something behind the two swords you perhaps with a broken heart then at the weekend we've got the queen of wands and the queen of wands is leo but don't exclude aries or sagittarius this is a lady that knows what she wants and she goes for it okay so you could be meeting a, a fire sign or you are taking a page out of their book look at this lady she's looking towards the Queen of Wands and this is the Ace of Spades the Ace of Swords so that means new communication a new beginning victory this could be a new study perhaps you might need more information with regards to the study that you want she's looking at the well she might wish that she could if you didn't if you don't have any financial um, assistance then um, she's wishing for financial assistance but you've got the nine of cups so your dream is going to come true these are the wish cards and it's lying next to the official um, letter so it might be a letter saying you have a grant we support you because this look at this triangle she wants it she's passed her exams the official papers that she's passed her exams and it's saying by the uh, authorities um, the ace of swords will give you a grant because you've passed your exam boom okay that's another option so you are going to go for what you want and at the weekend you will have the time um, to seek out information that you need in order to get your grants or support the last card on the Queen of Wands is transformation yes transformation that is what she's doing she's doing this lady that's you you've got fire you're taking action you know what you want and you're going to go for it you've taken a page out of the Queen's book and you're in transition transition of leaving the old behind going to something new you've got the eighth so that's the powerhouse you're in your power you're in your balance um, and uh, money is also the money house so there could be an inheritance there could be a uh, winning of a lottery there could be a winning of a scratch card or somebody might give you money officially you might get the loan you've got the nine of pentacles here so there's closing of a, f uh, a face like um, the sarcophagus it's closing of uh, um, an old face and you're moving into a new face you've got the nine of cups here and the nine of pentacles there nine nine is your specific number have a look on Google what that means it could be also nine of ninth of September that you might be going to school but some or you might start a job on the 9th of September as it's the nine of Pentacles you're leaving a bad period behind you're going into a luxurious more profitable period uh, start within the next few 
within the next few months. Well, a few months, that is September. August, September, there you go. So I hope mm, it's going to work out for you, Scorpio. So it could be that you might get a promotion if you've got a new job and you've passed your trial period and you're, they are promoting you because they've seen that you can work really, really well. You're bringing in the bucks for the company, so they're going to share it with you. Your wish is coming true. They might even say, because you, we would like to promote you, we need you to do um, a short course or a sh workshop, anything of that kind, or uh, another little study to specialize. Learning is always great and it always will pay its dividends in the future. Take care, God bless and be blessed and please share and like. Sorry about the inconvenience of this week that I'm doing it three videos in one uh, three uh, zodiacs in one video but please make sure that you check out the timestamps below in the description box just click on the time and it will take you straight to your reading just to recap it I think there's going to be celebrations because you've got the Nine of Cups, that is a wish coming true, and the uh, Well, uh, so that's two cards with the wish. You're going to get official news most probably because you might have finished a study and diploma. You might get an official news that you've got the job. Um, take the leap of faith don't worry about it and go for what you want okay clarity will come because you have got the victory and the person that left you um, behind uh, left you behind and took something from you uh, I think uh, you know what this is about they left you with a broken heart perhaps this could be the divorce that is final or an other financial claim somebody took something from you and you're getting news from an insurance claim so literally materialistically somebody took something from you and you could get a return from an insurance company as well which is the nine of pentacles there is money coming towards you extra money okay take care be blessed and stay safe please share and like ciao ciao Hi Sagittarius, this is your reading for the 23rd to the 30th of um, August and remember we are in the um, energy of Virgo. I hope you've watched the uh, video on the energy of Virgo as it might make things a little bit clearer. We are going into a slower energy than the fire energy and I start off with the card of you. you uh, temperance represents Sagittarius. You could also be meeting another Sagittarius. Um, Sagittarius, um, you might be trying to keep balance you, between work and the home front or between your heart and your mind or your heart and your soul. That is your emotions. And we are, after all, in an other energy. So you might be a bit um, unsettling or unbalanced because this is a much slower energy than yours. Okay. You have number 18 and the dog in the Linaman and the Ten of Hearts, which is the Ten of Cups. Now let's start with the 18. That becomes a 9, so there's an ending uh, of a phase and a new beginning. Where there is an ending, there's a new beginning. You're moving up from 9 to 10. And 10 is also an ending and a new beginning. The Cups, the Ten of Cups, means that you are in your uh, up ultimate happy state emotionally so you are in balance according to this so you might be getting you might be out of balance early in the day um, but at the end of the day you will be happy you might ha even have a family and friend uh, friend or family reunion 
are coming together, sharing some sort of celebration or happiness. Now, the dog means a loyal friend, a trustworthy, loyal friend. So you might be celebrating with your friend. Great stuff. You might be celebrating this new beginning. Then we have the card of justice. Look at that feather. The angels are giving you a sign. Everything is going to be fine. If you are in a judicial situation, then you will get what you deserve and so will the other. You could also be meeting a Libra, as the Justice card also represents Libra. Ooh, you have number 36, which again is a 9 and that is an ending so you've got a 9 9 have a look on google what 9 9 means but foremost you have victory as you have the six of clubs in the corner there i hope you can see it that means the six of ones that is victory recognition from the outside world or from your boss or from a particular man. It could be a Libra, it could be a Sagittarius, it could be a special friend. Okay, you are moving onwards and upwards. There might be a promotion, you might be going on holiday, or you might be moving home or from one business to the next. You're moving. If you have had your eye on a car, it could be yours. Now is the time for the energy because the energy is right. Now the Lenormand uh, card is the cross. You might be depressed, you might be stuck in your head, you might just be pondering. It is uh, The cross is like have faith for yourself as others have faith in you. Trust yourself as others trust you. Don't be in your head, come out of your head, take action make a choice or a decision the cross is like a crossroad as well now at friday you have the underworld and that's number 15 and number 15 is the devil so there might be something that's niggling you with somebody else because um you might have the card means the devil means addictions you might have addictions to eating too much or eating too little or burning the candle on both sides but it could also be a substance you might be smoking too much or you might be drinking too much well if it is water you can't drink too much but watch for that little word too too much or too little is a bad habit a bad habit can also be turning up late at work or at appointments. So make sure you break this habit if it is you. If somebody else has a habit, then tell them to seek advice and help. Now the devil to me, in the other traditional cards or a lot of decks, you see two people tied up and I can't see it here. I see two dogs tied up. Yes, two dogs tied up. They are the chain with the skull. This is a pagan deck. So the dog's feet are still free. So just usually it's a lady and a man. So if somebody um, like your partner or a friend is manipulating you or using you as a backbone, then you must break free. Okay, nobody should be manipulated and nobody should be the boss. You don't belong to anybody but yourself. So break free. Look at this and we're moving home. Some of you might be moving home, actually leaving physically. Okay, if this is the case, you might actually be moving. Or there could be a 360 degrees turnaround that the person that is manipulating you, and if it is your partner, they might listen to your words, go and find help. 
there's also the stalks means also a birth of a project, a birth of a job, a birth of a child. If you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. If you're too mature to get pregnant, then you might just become a granny, an auntie. You might be just hearing of a pregnancy or a birth. Alright? And this is also the card for moving home. 17, that is an 8. You are in your power. You're stronger than you think. There might also be money coming towards you. And then you have the Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts is Scorpio. So you might be dealing with a Scorpio or a Scorpio might be the boss uh, or acting like the boss, manipulating you um, or using you as a backbone. But it could also be that this Scorpio it doesn't have to be a woman because the cards aren't sexist or discriminating. Okay. Uh, it could be a man that it has a sort of nurturing or a, a feminine side, more feminine side to him, as we all have masculine and feminine within us. So, <coughs> perhaps in the, the, this, this Scorpio don't exclude Cancer or Pisces. They might, um, they might be of assistance or they might be the bully. Okay. Um, the Queen of Hearts does stand for love, passion, nurturing, caring, sensuality and sexuality. Okay, but you are in your power. Okay, this could be that friend. Okay, if you feel imprisoned, that is what the devil could also mean. Stuck, imprisoned, because you are being manipulated. You might go to a scorpion, cancer, or a Pisces, and that could be a friend, because this is also the hearts to the Ten of Cups. Like I said, you could be um, going out and celebrating with your friend or the Libra, but it could also be the Queen of Hearts. Okay? And we, you, it could, you might be coupling up with a couple that is a king and uh, of hearts, or the and the queen of hearts. They might be coupled up. It could be a couple that is uh, manipulating you. Who knows? Because you've also got the king of cups, and he's a loving, passionate, nurturing, caring man. And the king of cups is Cancer. So you might seek advice from a couple or one or the other. Or you might be coupling up with a water sign. Wow. That is at the weekend. Now you've also got the mountain. Perhaps you find uh, the queen or the king um, a problem because the mountain is lying next to them or they will be saying to you don't make a, uh, an elephant out of a fly that is what they also could say I'm reading for thousands of people so this is just a general reading if it doesn't resonate with you then please have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign but you've got the eight of wands here so things are going to happen really fast Okay, because it's on the traditional tarot, it's the ones that the clubs is ones that fly through the air. So you might even uh, fly through the air literally to meet a, a queen of cups or the king of cups. Okay, um, that could be a Cancer or a Scorpio, like I said. But don't. Um, I'm just. This is a general reading, so don't exclude Pisces. Uh, you could be getting messages through email, text messages or telephone uh, calls, okay? And things are happening very fast, but don't make problems where there aren't any. Don't see everything as a problem. You don't have to climb the mountain, you can walk the path like the deer. Now, you've got number 21, 3. You are creative enough, you're very creative Sagittarius, 
and don't underestimate your power eight okay okay you have loads of backbone that's why people lean on you don't let anybody lean on you there should be equilibrium in friendship and in relationships within the next few months you will re see results or you will see what was the problem okay so I hope you have enjoyed this reading just to recap it you are definitely in your power as you come out as yourself or you could be meeting a Sagittarius you're keeping the balance you might be meeting uh, uh, you might be seeing things from a different perspective about a friend that they really trustworthy and loyal or you might be meeting a new friend that is um, trustworthy and loyal that could be the queen or king of cl uh, uh, water cups a libra a sagittarius wow you have the ultimate happiness this week to start off with don't let anybody dictate to you and um, <clears throat> I forgot nearly um, the devil does it does represent Capricorn so there could be a Capricorn that could be the boss okay the, or a uh, Libra so don't let anybody boss you about stand on your own two feet break away your hands aren't tied in this case your paws okay i love you loads take care my sages and sorry for the inconvenience i uh, hope it will be back to normal next week ciao ciao and don't uh, forget the romance readings should be out shortly as well ciao ciao